Hello, dear friends. The UFO issue has reached the political sphere, and that is good because it sparks public debate. Opinion piece. Angles or it is. Ezekiel saw the chariot. Are UFOs angles, former astronauts, and the dimensional beings? Two congressmen talk about the issue. They link UFOs with religious visits. A strange solo silence continues. Let's start. Two Republican congressmen claim that UFOs could be angles sent, since they say that the sightings are consistent with the scriptures of the Bible. Representatives Eric Barlison and Tim Barchett consider angles to be synonymous with extradimensional beings and cite religious texts as answers about UFOs, Matthew Pellan wrote in the Daily Mail. In quotes, Yesterday's angles are today's extraterrestrials, according to Eugenio Siragusa. In his opinion, the human being is made up of spirit, soul, and body. We come from the stars as a genetic result of the insemination of the ancient gods to the primate, and we necessarily go towards perfection. Eugenio Siragusa was an Italian contactee who claimed to have contact with extraterrestrial beings and transmitted messages from them. In his teachings, he established connections between spirituality, human evolution, and external intervention in the development of humanity. Political debate. Republican Barlison's comments echo statements by fellow Republican Congressman Tim Barchett, who told reporters last year that he believes the first chapter of Ezekiel is pretty clear about UFO sighting. His comments highlight the frenzy of UFO speculation in Washington, D.C. over the past seven months, sparked by whistleblower David Grach's testimony that the government is in possession of extraterrestrial craft. Congressman Eric Barlison believes that the non-human intelligence described by UFO whistleblower David Grach could be angelic beings. Quote, Whenever I use the term angles, he said, to me it is synonymous with an extradimensional being. Congressman and Navy veteran Mike Gallagher, who also sits on the House Oversight Committee, suggested last June that UFOs could be time-traveling ships piloted by humans from the future. The Wisconsin Republican also hypothesized that the UFOs could actually be from an ancient civilization that's just been hiding here and is suddenly showing itself. Hypothesis. The extra-dimensional or interdimensional hypothesis also does not appear in what has been made public from Grach's written statements first submitted for his approval to the Pentagon's Office of Defense Security Republication and Review. Speculation linking UFOs with religious visitations or theories about interdimensional beings have been recurring features within the discourse of the subject since the beginning of the 20th century. The concept acquired its highest profile and arguably most reputable with the publication of the book Passport to Magonia, From Folklore to Flying Saucers, by astronomer and pioneer Jacques Vallée in 1969. Vallée, who later served as the inspiration for the character of François Dufault in Steven Spielberg's UFO blockbuster Closed Encounters of the Third Kind, has spent years in reading volumes of ancient text for his groundbreaking tome. He paid 1,180 encounters with luminous flying clay pots reported from Japan, Roman accounts of floating shields, and Native American stories of sky baskets to argue for continuity with modern flying saucer cases. Phenomena magazine editor Brian Allen, to cite one story, 
spoke with Anglican pastor Ray Boyd, who claims that the faction within the Pentagon deeply believes that UFOs are the product of demonic forces. In quotes, the Defense Intelligence Agency was looking at this demonic element and they labeled this type of aliens as non-human entities, Alan said. They believed there was a demonic component to the UFO phenomenon. They are not invading at us. It is biblical. Close quotes. Ancestral Aliens is a television series that explores the ancient astronaut hypothesis past human alien contact, UFOs, government conspiracies, and related scientific topics in a documentary format. The episodes begin and end with questions. The series is inspired by the works of Erin Bondaniken, Thecharia Sitchin, Graham Hancock, Robert Powell, Brinsley Le Trench, Charles Hapgood, and Edgar Case. Producer Giorgio Tsokaulos and writer David Childress are featured guests. The premise of the series is based on and inspired by the ancient astronaut hypothesis previously popularized in Chariots of the Gods by Eric von Daniken and The Twelfth Planet by the Chariot Sitchi, which purports that galactic beings visited Earth in the ancient or prehistoric times and introduced civilization, architecture, and high technology to early humans. Many, if not all, of ancient human achievements in language, mathematics, science, technology, and the stone construction, such as the Egyptian pyramids, Puma Punkum, and the Stonehenge, are attributed to ancient men under the influence of visitors from the stars. Remnants of such visitations are found in religious texts, ancient myths, and legendary stories, and in the spiritual systems of many of the world's religions, such as Hinduism, the religion of ancient Egypt, Gnostic Christianity, and Mormonism. The hypothesis also claims that the ancient visits left etymological remains in many of the world's languages, such as the frequent appearance of the world of the wet Anu, which means friend or vista. The claims that modern humans were the result of genetic modification or are somehow biologically descended from ancient aliens is a hypothesis also popularized by von Daniken and Sitchin and is the focus of many episodes. Definition An angle is a supernatural being present in various relations and mythologies, whose main function is to serve a supreme deity. An angle is also a person in whom the qualities of angelic spirits are assumed, that is, goodness, beauty, and innocence. Monotheistic religions often re represent angles as benevolent celestial beings who act as intermediaries with humankind. In Catholicism, we speak of the guardian angel or the custodian, who would be the one designated to each, to each person to protect him or her. In contrast, there is also the figure of the fallen angel, one who has been expelled from heaven for rebellion. The best known angles in Judeo-Christian traditions are Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, and Saint Raphael. Any living being from any place other than Earth is called extraterrestrial. Most people only take this definition into account when referring to beings from outer space. Intelligent extraterrestrial life is generally associated with the phenomenon of unidentified flying objects, commonly called flying saucers. A common image in popular cultural film and comics is that of humanoid-looking aliens, like the little green men of classic science fiction or the gray ones popularized by close encounters of the third kind and the X-Files. The many witnesses of different origins, religions, and economic social positions who claim to have had some type of contact have described different types of beings which could, be, which could be classified into various typologies. Humanoids, little green men, 
Greymen, Nordic Men, Giant Humans, Reptiloids, Insectoids, Cephalopoids, Xenomorphs, etc. Breaking news. Trump promises that he will not allow a central bank digital currency. RFK Jr. creates We the People Party as a strategy to access the elections. Are they preparing us for another lap leak? Young audiences question whether alarmism prompting calls to censor content. The president of the EU demands globalist control of all information. The trackers strike in Poland is suspended and they begin to negotiate. The European Parliament calls Brussels' plan to eliminate trolling in marine protected areas in 2030 as simplistic. The European Parliament calls for a permanent halt of the fire in Gaza. A strange solo silence continues. Solar activity remains low for the seventh consecutive day, an entire week with many sunspots but without significant eruptions. Mass protectable miniature quantum memory. At the University of Basel, they have built a quantum memory element based on atoms in a small glass cell. In the future, these quantum memories can be mass produced on wafers. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.